recently took a set of Ixis, actually. Um, now, <laughs> Amber, I'm not showing the biggest amount of faith in his own ability after hearing that. Right, so I think Abla will probably go Moth. Um, yep, there we go. Uh, Abla plays Ness and Moth. Um, I feel like Moth does a lot better in this matchup than Ness does, even though I don't think Ness does badly. I just feel like Moth has a bit of an edge, primarily just because tippers allow him to play around um, Zerus' range uh, really well. If she attempts to use her max range there to apply pressure and various other things like that, uh, she can leave herself vulnerable to tips. Uh, you can catch Zerus who's jump with like Rising Fair really well with Moth because it has so much range, which is really, really important in a matchup like this. Um, game 1 on Smashville, I feel like this doesn't really benefit either character like in a particular way. Probably Moth a little bit more than Zerus, but this will be interesting to see um, how well um, how well Ambler is able to do against Mudder. Okay, Mudder playing very safe. Nice use of neutral air. Really good, uh, really good, um, really good ways of baiting out options I'm noticing from Mudder. Um, we drift back a lot, not really pressing too many buttons to punch that. Oh, and the SD coming in just as I praise him. That's that's a little bit unfortunate. Now, I think in order for Mudder to pressure the ledge here properly, he needs. So, Marth is one of those characters who getting off the ledge with him is actually quite difficult. The best thing for him to do is like to charge uh, down smash, probably bait, neutral get up. Um, you know, just wait on the ledge, probably do like a run off, uh, run off reverse, uh, run, run off reverse down B, so then you can punish the neutral guard up attack from the player, you can also cover roll and get up attack with that as well. Okay, that's that forward air covering that jump like I was saying before. Um, Ampla actually doing very, very well, good stuff to him. But uh, not capitalizing on the um, potential air dodge afterwards, I've noticed that uh, Zerushu players normally go for the forward air at lower percentages, uh, but up to go for the up air, maybe it's something to do with mass, uh, fast full speed, or full speed rather. Okay, grab will punish that. Okay, Ambler popping out of that, I think Mudder carried his momentum a little bit too much there. Okay, now with a low shield, Mudder will have to play very defensive. I expect to see a lot of Zare, um, Paralyzer, potentially punishing the fact that Marth's, uh, Marth's dash to shield is actually very slow. So Marth will be able to just slash in. Oh, the up not able to seal that out. Uh, decent DI from Ambler there. Nice, nah, will be interesting. Zerushu is getting somewhat close to up for a percent. If Ambler is able to just tack on a little bit more percent, he will be able to kill with the option up, oh, but no jump. So game one will be going to Mudder. Now, uh, for a potential counter pick, I would like to see Ambla go to. Honestly, I feel like Zerushu is probably a little bit better at punishing landing than Marth is, or at least in this matchup. Like, I feel like Zerushu would be better at covering landing than Marth would be. So perhaps, honestly, I feel like going back to Smash Bros is probably a really good option, to be honest. Um, I feel like the stage didn't really play a big part in that, especially since Mother SD and he was still able to win. So I feel like it's safe to say there is a pretty notable gap in skill level here. But Ambler was still able to do some, you know, pretty good stuff. He was able to punish jumps out of shields really, really well. Um, advancing there really good. And he was able to apply a lot of shield pressure when Mother was on the platform as well. So I'd like to see if Ambler could perhaps take that into this next game. Let's roll with that a little bit. Could potentially go for a lilac pick here, but because Zerushu has the ability to tether to ledges, so the the uh, the tilts don't really affect her too much in that regard, and I feel like they affect Marth a lot more, especially because Marth's recovery is quite linear. I feel like it'd be much more worth it for him to potentially look at Smash Four pick here. And it will be going back to Smash Four, just like I thought we would. Now the main thing I want to look for here. Uh, right now is Amla spacing more against Zerusu, punishing the fact that she needs to commit to jumps, punishing the fact that a lot of her pressure always comes from falling aerials, just as you saw there. Okay, um, I can actually see why Amla went for that, actually. That might have been a good decision. I don't know if a charge up smash would have done more against the whiff grab, but at the very least, he was able to get quite a bit of damage out of it. Um, has taken a small lead right now.
Mudder not really able to take advantage of Ambler whipping that dancing blade there. Okay, trying to cover the tech roll, not quite reading it. I like that Amber's willing to go for harder um, harder punishes or harder reads against Mudder. He's commit he's trying to punish Mudder's jumps quite a lot. Trying to punish the fact that he's continuously trying to go into the air to apply pressure. Um, and I think that's really good actually for Amber to be able to recognize that. Oh, but air dodging when he didn't need to, and because of the platform he will receive landing lag and that is enough to uh, finish out the stock. Mudder going for the dash shield grab. Um, there's a reason you don't see Zero Suits go for that, and it's because her dash grab propels her really far forward. So even if she wasn't originally entering her initial dash, she can go really far just through going for that, that, that starting dash grab. That's why you don't see that uh, dash shield grab. Yep, we'll be able to take out. This is still pretty close. Uh, Raid Zero Suit threat has gone out of the way. So now it's just a matter of Amber sealing her out before she would enter Rage again. But Mudder doing a really, really good job here of just keeping this percent tacked on. Keeping Amber in the air, punishing air dodges really, really well and taking an 86% lead. Good. Mudder trying to bait out these air dodges, baiting the standing punch really, really well. The left shot back air will seal it out and that'll be a 2-0 going for Mudder. Both games were relatively comfortable because um, he had more... Like, Mudder SD'd in the first game at like 20%, and considering he still won that, it was effectively a very similar case as to what happened in this game, same kind of out outcome scenario. So, it will be the 2 0 going to Mudder. A decent performance over Man Blood, wasn't too bad. Um, definitely had some, definitely had the right idea of some stuff. Oh, and we've got Ixis going up against Ambler. Um, this. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. Ambler's come back in. Wait, are you... Oh, alright, cool. Okay, I'm just sorting out some streams. I was going to say, he is actually playing against him now. 